Canadians are struggling to make ends meet. They're seeing the price of everything skyrocket from gasoline to groceries. And all the while, liberal officials jet set around the world in decadence, drinking champagne, and if you can believe it, eating caviar. The $93,000 cost of catering on one of these flights would feed a Canadian family for years. Canadians are looking to catch a break, not catch a slap in the face. When will the Liberals set their entitlements aside and finally put Canadians first? The Honourable Minister. Mr. S Mr. Speaker, go ahead, Mel. The Honourable Minister for Foreign Affairs. Mr. Speaker, obviously we know that inflation is having an impact on Canadian lives, but I would like to take my colleague back on memory lane when he refers to the expenses linked to alcohol. 348 bottles Stephen Harper's delegation took oh. when heading to South Africa in 2013. So, I know that I just wanted to state the facts. And of Honourable Minister, please continue. Well, I think clearly member opposites need to take back their fake outrage. Thank you. Good job. Good job. The Honourable Member for Leeds Grenville, Thousand Islands in Rideau Lakes. Well, the Minister wants to talk about what happened a decade ago or more. We're talking about what's happening when they've been in office. We're reading stories in the newspaper about Canadians who can't afford a full tank of gas and they're running out of gas on their way to work in record numbers across the country, not being able to afford groceries, prescriptions, even to turn on the air conditioning during a heat wave because of inflationary pressures. What we're asking from this government is to take a reality check not take a luxurious flight and spend $93,000 on catering when they could do with a little bit less. When will they put their entitlements aside and put Canadians first? Using Harper as an excuse for this is absolutely ridiculous. It's kind of like a five-year-old getting in trouble and saying, well, little Johnny down the street did it too. That's not the kind of actions and words that we expect from a parliamentarian especially the Minister of Foreign Affairs, who's supposed to be representing Canada on the international stage. It's an embarrassment. And one more thing, Melanie Jolie, how's this for fake outrage? Hey everybody, if you like the content you're seeing on this channel, help force the YouTube algorithm to get the word out. Comment, like, and share this video everywhere you can. Together, we can get things done, we can get the word out.